Hey, what's up YouTube? Crimson here. So I wanted to post an update because I haven't posted anything in a month. And um, last time I spoke to you guys, I was working on just my journey overall with my teeth and my weight. And I started, I got my hair done. It's cut and colored. So, you know, it's one step closer to the next phase. Um, I've lost a little more weight, so I'm now down to 190, and you know, I just want to keep going, slow and steady, slow and steady. So I did want to talk to you guys, though, about my teeth. I know I, I talked about working on them because I had a lot of issues going on with my teeth, and um, really, ultimately, what I want to do is just pull out the remaining teeth that I have and have dentures put in. And I've watched a million videos about how to do this. And, um, you know, there's mixed reviews out there and I get that, you know, uh, the biggest problem that I'm seeing people have are with the lower dentures and having them stay. And I'm worried about that. I am, but in the same turnaround, I'm just so ready to not be in pain anymore. I mean, I'm in pain like every single day. As it stands now, I have three uh, broken teeth. I've had them broken for a while and they didn't start bothering me until probably about maybe a month, two months ago. And I've been taking Ambersol to kill the pain and Advil to kill the pain. And I've been doing that pretty much like every day. So, um, and it helps, it does help with the pain, but you know, when you look at the big picture, who wants to have to go through all that? Who wants to put that stuff on every single day, a couple times a day? Who wants to take four Advils twice a day? I mean, it's a lot and that stuff can tear up your stomach. So it's like, I'm just done. I'm ready. So I went uh, probably about a week ago, last Friday, I want to say, um, could have been two Fridays ago, but I went to Aspen Dental. So I have insurance, I have health insurance, but any, anybody who has, um, sorry, not health insurance, dental insurance, anybody who's got dental insurance understands that, yeah, it covers some stuff, but it does not cover everything. And there's a limit to how much you can use. So my dental insurance, um, caps me at $1,500 per year, which is, you know, the standard rate with, um, like preventative stuff or um, x-rays and, and cleanings once or twice a year, um, they'll cover that at 100%. But if you get bigger work like fillings and stuff, they'll only cover that maybe 80% or I'm sorry, yeah, about 80%. And then when you get to the bigger stuff like extractions and root canals and crowns, they only cover that at 50%. So, you know, this is the standard stuff going on with dental insurance nowadays. So it doesn't really cover much, just a little bit. And if you have a lot of work that needs to be done, like me, um, $1,500 is not going to get you very far. So I went to Aspen Dental and I had... An exam with them. Now, I'll tell you something. I've got some gripes about Aspen Dental. You know, they talk about how you have a free consultation and free x-rays. And they'll still charge your insurance company. So now that's being pulled out of my $1,500 cap. And it wasn't free. Technically, I have to pay for it. Or my insurance company has to pay for it. So I don't think that's very fair. That's one of my gripes with them. The second gripe I had, now under, understand something. I only have, I already currently wear a partial, okay? I have a partial on the uppers and I have a partial on the lowers. And I only have 15 teeth left. That's upper and lower combined. That's it, 15 left. And um, to pull 50, okay, so Aspen did the consultation, they did the x-rays, they, checked everything and they said yep you need to pull all your teeth and have dentures put in okay fine so how much is that going to cost you know and Aspen Dental they have the basic 
uh, two different kind of mid-range dentures, and then they have the best denture, which is the um, Comfy Lights or something, and it's like heat molded, heat injection, whatever. So, you know, and with that last one, you get a temporary denture um, that you wear for four to six months until your gums and stuff shrink, and then you get your permanent denture, or not permanent denture, but your final denture. And they're guaranteed for seven years, you know, from breakage and all that kind of stuff. Okay, fine. I said to them, all right, how much does it all cost? Now, one thing I know for sure that when I get my teeth pulled, especially that many, I need IV sedation. Now, I've already had a bunch of teeth pulled and I've had to have IV sedation for that as well. Um, I don't take to Novocaine very well and it will numb it but if I have any kind of infection or discomfort discomfort before I go into the procedure the Novocaine won't work so I'll still feel everything so of course that adds to my anxiety and then when your anxiety is up and your adrenaline's going that also makes the Novocaine wear off quicker so Novocaine doesn't work very well I've always had to do the IV sedation so, to pull 15 teeth and to have their best denture and to have IC, IV sedation, they said it was going to cost $5,400. $5,400. That's a pretty incredible number. Um, who's got $5,400 lying around? So, I was like, okay break that down for me. So they broke it down for me and um, vaguely, I might add. And they want to charge, I just couldn't believe this, they want to charge a thousand dollars for IV sedation. Like are you serious? A thousand dollars? Every other dentist out there, every other normal dentist out there charges three hundred dollars for IV sedation. So, and, and the Dentists that charge $300 for IV sedation, you know they're making a profit off of that. So Aspen Dental wants to charge $1,000 for IV sedation. Mm, I think they're trying to make a profit. So, you know, I did some research online just looking at other videos. Of course, I didn't sign any paperwork or get anything done. I just basically went to, um, went home and just did more research about Aspen Dental. And a lot of people have a lot of different complaints about them. Sorry, I had to do a little cut there. Um, so I did some research about them and looked at videos about other people talking about Aspen Dental. And wow, they're a ripoff. I mean, flat out Aspen Dental is a ripoff. And I don't even want to go with... Um, God, affordable dentures either because they're just like Aspen Dental. So I'm just like, my goodness, you know, how do you catch a break? I'm a school teacher. I don't make money like that. It would take me two years to save up money for that. Now, okay, yeah, some people say, well, you know, you can go with Care Credit. You can go with all these other third-party financing companies. Well, one, I have student loans, and they're big ones. And Care Credit and all those other third-party vendors, they don't want to give me credit right now because of my student loans. So that's out. Um, you know, I, I could probably get a co-signer. You know, my dad or something might be able to co-sign for me. But, you know, again, I'm not going to do that for $5,300 or $5,400 when I think I can get this process done cheaper. So I put out an APB on Facebook and I said, hey, does any of my friends on Facebook know of any dentists in town? And I'm here in Florida. So Florida, you know, the whole medical dental field down here in Florida, man, doctors are a dime a dozen and they're not good doctors. But I, I put out the request to see if any of my friends on Facebook knew of a good dentist that I could go to. And one of my friends... Um, said that, you know, she used to work for a really, really good dentist, and that was Oasis Dental. So, I called up Oasis, well, she called up Oasis Dental, because they don't typically offer free consultations, I guess. 
So she called them up and spoke to her friend and said, hey, you know, can you um, see my friend and, and give her a consult and, you know, see what's going on with her mouth. So I called them up and I spoke to Dawn, who was really super sweet on the phone. And she said, yeah, let's get you in. Now, one cool thing about Oasis Dental is that they have, um, they're open, they're only open Monday through Thursday, but on Tuesday, they're open until like six o'clock at night. So she said that she could fit me in at five o'clock. And I was like, nice, because, you know, I get off of work at, you know, on Tuesdays, I get off of work at like 430 so that works out really perfect. So I've got an appointment with them tomorrow. They were even able to get me in right away too, which I guess because I'm her friend, um, they were able to fit me in right away at five o'clock. So that appointment is tomorrow. I see them and have, I guess, a free consult. They'll do a full set of x-rays and we'll see where we're at at that point. And hopefully they've got better news as far as the costs. I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't have to have the best perfect denture, but I at least want a denture for that four month to a year healing process because the gums are going to shrink. Everything's going to shrink. The gums are going to shrink. The bones are going to shrink. The dentures are going to become loose and unusable. So I want to at least get something in there to tied me over until the whole process of shrinkage goes back and shrinks all that it's going to do. And then I can um, get a, um, a more permanent solution. Well, not permanent, but you know, um, a better denture that is more to my liking. You know, the other thing about Aspen Dental too that I didn't like is that they said with the comfy lights, you know, they start you off with a basic denture and then they give you the comfy light denture um, four to six months after you've had your extractions and their choice of tooth they give you for the for the basic that basic temporary denture they give you three choices of tooth color brown light brown and like egg brown and you know seriously man if I'm gonna pull out all my teeth and get dentures put in why would I want to have tobacco stained, coffee stained dentures put back into my mouth? I mean, how does that make any sense? And I think that was total BS that they don't give you a white option. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, so when I spoke to my friend about that, she said, well, they're, you know, they're basic denture. They have all different color tooth, you know, colors. So I want, shoot, if I have to have all my teeth pulled, I want to have the whitest and brightest Hollywood smile looking tooth. You know, I want to smile and say, whoa, that chick's got some sweet teeth. You know, I want to at least have that goodness. If I have to pay all this money and fork out all this money, I'm going to go with the absolute best or at least the absolute whitest. And then during the healing process, it heals. And then in a year, when my insurance renews after December, then I can take that another $1,500 that my insurance pays and put it towards the better denture. So that's the plan. So I have my appointment tomorrow. I'm going to definitely check them out and get a price and hopefully they'll break it down for me with the IV sedation because I just don't think I could do it without. And I'll post another video and let you know how that works out. And hopefully if Oasis Dental works out good for me, they could work out good for you. I'm going to let them know, though, that I'm doing a video. So hopefully that means they'll treat me sweetly. And, um, you know, maybe it's, hey, it's free advertisement for them, right? I'm plugging their business. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'll post another video. I'll let you know. For now, peace out. Talk to you later.